Hey Valley Metal, good evening. Tonight we're going to be looking at converting units within the metric system, going from one un unit to another. But first, before we do that, let's get to something fun, our trivia question of the day. From my favorite Disney TV show, Good Luck Charlie, what was the title of the last episode of Good Luck Charlie? Now as I make this, they haven't aired that, that uh, last episode yet, but by the time you watch this, it will be history. All right, let's get back to our official target for the day which is 6.5a, I can convert one metric unit of measurement to another using a chart. Let's do this thing. All right, here's my younger brother, JB. JB has a 35 milliliter, has 35 milliliters of Pepsi in a bottle. What portion of a liter does he have? All right, well, we know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Now, even if you don't know that information, when you take this uh, in a testing situation or a quiz, either by us or by the state, they will provide a chart with some of this information. All right, so we know that one liter then equals 1,000 milliliters. 35 milliliters is how many liters? Well, I know that you're familiar with this little chart from science here. I'm going to move it down just so you can see it. That one there. And we are going to go from milliliters two liters are one of our base units. So we go one, two, three spots to the left because we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So we're going to divide. If we do that, we do three spots on our decimal, move it three places. One, two, three, just like that. We have 0 0.035 liters. Here's my biggie. It's all about moving the decimal in the metric system and we're going to use the same little graphic that you used in your uh, science classes already this year to do that. All right, let's get to some just must know vocabulary. These are, you gotta know, there's that chart, kilo, hecto, deca, then we've got our base units of uh, meters, liters, and grams, and then deci, centi, and milli. And I know you can make up some sort of a little mnemonic de device, a little sentence to help memorize those things. But kilo, hecto, deca. In the middle, we have our base units, meters, liters, and grams. Deci, centi, and milli. Those um, roots and prefixes will help you figure out what the heck is going on. All right. Also, kilo means thousands got the number there. Centi means hundredths and milli means thousandths. These here are the three most crucial uh, words, knowing that what those mean. All right. I also put together a little chart for you that you'll see throughout. It talks about a kilometer. There's the symbol for it. And it also will show that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters and one meter equals 0 0.001 kilometers. So for each base unit, I made one of these little charts. And I like this part over here, where it talks about what the relationship is to that base unit. Like centimeter. One centimeter is 0 0.01, because centi means one hundredth. And then it talks about one meter is a hundred centimeters. Same with millimeter. One millimeter is one thousandth or 0 0.001 meter. One meter has a thousand millimeters. So you'll see these tables throughout the uh, video. And every time I ask you a problem, I have that up there for reference, as well as the little science graphic right here. That's what we're going to use to solve the problems. You'll be able to use them on the test. Okay? All right. Just another graphic here I'll go over at the very end. All right, let's take a look at our first problem. The bears, about bears in California. The California grizzly bear was designated the official state animal in 1953. Use the information at the left to find the maximum weight of grizzly bears in grams. Well, down here it says that the maximum weight of a grizzly bear is 521.64 kilograms. So I put that kilograms. Now I'm over here at kilograms, right? And they want me to express it in grams. So I have to get from kilograms to grams. I have to go one, two, three spots to the right, which really means I'm multiplying by a thousand, but I'll take the decimal point. I'll move it three spots to the right. One, two, 
3, put that in, and then uh, I do have to add a 0 as a placeholder, but I found out that 521.64 kilograms is actually 521,640 grams. All right, one more time. I'm going from kilograms, which was the measurement I was given, to grams, which is one of our base units. In order to get there, I have to make three jumps. One, two, three, which means I'm going to move my decimal point three spots to the right. One, two, three. You with me? This graphic over here that the science teachers introduced will be very helpful as we work through these problems. All right, I'm going to have you work on this problem here. At 975 meters tall, Angel Falls in Venezuela is the highest waterfall in the world. How many kilometers tall is this waterfall? All right, let's see. Well, it's 979 meters. Uh, looking at my chart, I know that a kilometer is 1,000 meters. So I wrote down one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. And I am going to go from a meter, my base unit, to a kilometer or a kilometer. So I have to go three spots, one, two, three, and I'm moving to the left. So this would be my decimal point here, 979 meters. So I have to move to the left. I'm going to have a smaller number, one, two, three. So my actual answer is 0 0.7, I'm sorry, 0 0.979 kilometers. All right, you with me? I moved it three spaces. I was going from meters to kilometers. One, two, three. I take a look at my number, 979. This is where the decimal would be. I have to move it three spots to the left, because that's what I did in my chart over here. I'm dividing by 1,000. I'm, I'm getting a smaller number. One, two, three. And there we go. It's just that simple. OK, let me drop my screen and have you try working this problem right here on your own. Go ahead and pause it. I'm going to slide that down so you can see. Yes, I'm not. All right. My hockey stick is 180 centimeters long. How long is it in meters? All right. So it's 180 centimeters. Just going to close this. I know that one meter is 100 centimeters. I'm going from centimeters to meters. So I only have two jumps, and I'm going to my left. So I have to look at this number. OK, where's my decimal going to be? It's going to be right here, where my cursor is. So 180 centimeters equals how many meters? I'm not sure. So I'll take my number. I'm going to move it, the decimal two spots to the left. One, two, and my answer is 1.8 meters. Let me just see if that makes sense. I was at centimeters. Now that one meter is 100 centimeters, so I'm not going to have two meters, right? It's going to be a little bit less, and that is a little bit less, 1.8 meters. My answer makes sense, and it checks out. All right, here are three quick problems to try on your own. I've got the graphic up here to help. Go ahead and see if you can do it. All right, let's see how you did. The first one, 180, or sorry, 1,800 milliliters is how many liters? Let's slide this down. So I'm going from milliliters to liters, right? That's a base unit. So I'm going to make one, two, three jumps to the left. So here's my decimal point over here, 1,800. So I'm going to make three jumps to the left, one, two, three giving me 1.800, or just 1.8 liters. Good job. All right, the next one, 122 millimeters. So I'm here at millimeters, and I'm going to go to centimeters. Well, I'm just going to go one spot, millimeters to centimeters. I am moving to the left, so 121 millimeters becomes, move it one spot to the left, becomes 12.1 centimeters. And our last one, 250 grams, we're going to milligrams. So here we're going from grams 
to milligrams, I'm going to go one, two, three spots to the right. So, of course, I have to move my decimal three spots to the right. One, two, three, giving me a total of 250,000. So I had to put in three placeholders. All right. I think you get the idea of how to use these. I want to review one thing with you quickly. This chart right here, that helps me a lot. If I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, I'm dividing and I'm going to go to the left. If I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, I'm going to multiply and I'm going to the right. This little thing here, memorizing this and being able to put this down and move from one meter to centimeters, one two, I'd be moving it two spots to the right. It's invaluable. This is excellent. Thank you to the science crew for coming up with that. So make sure you do that. Here is your ticket to the show. How many millimeters in 220 centimeters? How many liters in 1,456 milliliters? Go ahead and write those down. I'm going to flip back and show you this real quick so you can copy this down in your notes. Right here, I would take and copy. that box. All right, let's get to the end. The answer to the trivia question. The title of the last episode of Good Luck, Charlie? Very fitting title. Goodbye, Charlie. Teddy goes off, my favorite there, Teddy. Teddy heads off to uh, college, and they're trying to figure out oh, a way to say goodbye. I haven't seen the episode, but I have seen some of the previews. All right, thank you for watching. Goodbye.